Hey everyone, CWD Reviews here. I'm CWD and this will be a... This isn't actually going to be a review, it's more of like a gauntlet of albums that I'm not going to be reviewing. Um, my segment called NET, Net, Not Enough Time. Uh, these are albums that either I initially wanted to review but found myself lacking time or albums that I don't really see much point in reviewing. To get to get this out of the way, I'm a I'm a college student. I work um, every single day from every weekday, so you know, I can't touch down on everything that I want to t I touch down on. But you know, that's kind of impossible right now. So here's going to be a somewhat of, of a brief um, uh, album that I'm going to be not I'm going to be passing on reviewing, unfortunately. First off, the new Dream Theater album, the astonishing Dream Theater being this well-renowned prog metal band that fronted by Mr. John Petrucci. And, uh, no. This album sounded like an auditory Disney film that I did not like at all. It's it's actually quite incredible. I mean, why, why put me through two hours of a genre that I'm not that fond of, or even like the the way the genre is approached. Anyway, why why put me through two hours of that? I I just don't see much point in talking about it since Dream Theater. Uh, you know what they're gonna do. It sounds like a Dream Theater album. It's overly dramatic. It's uh, campy. It's got a lot of technical compositions and there's a deep and there's a concept running through it and this concept is just not moving me at all it's, it just reminds me of like if Game of Thrones fused with like Star Wars or Star Trek or something it, I, I'm just not feeling this album I mean if you're a Dream Theater th fan check it out you might like it more than me obviously uh, Next up, the new Lycus album, Chasms. Lycus being this doom metal band from California. This is their second full-length album. I really wanted to review this album. I, I actually even have it on CD, but yeah, time constraints have prevented me from really reviewing it. Plus, there was like other stuff that I had to prioritize. This is a decent doom metal album. It's it's definitely uh, going to be. A highlight in, in metal music most certainly but it just seems a bit maybe a little too standard for doom metal especially the specific type of doom metal funeral doom and I don't, I don't know I just don't see myself re returning to it as often as I want to I'll, I'll certainly still pl play it in my car I mean it's a likable album I do like this album but I, I just didn't have enough time to you know, get my thoughts about it on it, and I didn't know how to describe these songs without inadvertently describing other songs. I mean, I hope I'm gonna be looking out for whatever they're doing in the future, obviously. But if if you're into doom metal, if you want to see what doom metal is up to right now, check this band out. I mean, they're signed to Relapse Records, and that's a pretty renowned label. Uh, the new Massive Attack EP, Ritual Spirit, Massive Attack being the long-running and very influential trip-hop and down-tempo group that hailed from the 90s. They're actually the major band to have founded trip-hop, which is interesting. Now, this new EP, Ritual Spirit, I like it a lot. Matter of fact, I'm, it's got me really excited for um, this, this new Massive Attack album that may or may not come this year. I hope it does. But... I didn't, so I didn't really see much point in doing a review if it's just four tracks and 18 minutes. I mean, that's like a whole two and a half hours just put into just talking about four songs. I mean, do, but yeah, it, it's really good. Check it out. It's it's got you know, it's got young fathers on it, trickies on it. The beats are cacophonous and really hypnotic. Something you'd expect out of Massive Attack. Just give it a listen. You, you'll, you'll definitely enjoy it and hopefully be excited about a new Massive Attack album as I am. The, the new A Bath album. The debut album from well from this well-renowned black metal co 
guitarist and musician, of, of Mr. Of Bath, and this is his debut album under his own under his own solo project's name. Um, it's a it's decent. I mean, it's it certainly got me intrigued, somewhat intrigued as to what he's gonna do, but. I can't help but feel like this is more of just a standard, traditional black metal album, honestly. I just think that uh, A Bath is not doing anything that's re reinvent reinventing the genre or reinvigorating the genre. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of good uh, compositions on here. There's good drumming on it. There's some electric guitar. I think the production matches what's going on, but the vocals just seem so unenthusiastic for what the genre usually demands, but if you're into black metal, if you're into uh, the band A Bath was in before he started doing his own solo thing, then do check this album out. I mean, it's it's decent. I, I, I'm definitely going to try to listen to it again at some point, a few more times at some point, so we'll see. I'll, I'll probably change my mind about not reviewing this, but that's very unlikely. The new Eleanor Free and also the new Eleanor Freeburger album, New View. Um, this was just uh, about 40, 40 to fifty minutes of adult contemporary indie rock, and it's not exciting me at all. I, I just don't see much point in listening to it. Uh, there's some cool little guitar solos. There's like some sweet melodies. Eleanor is a definitely good singer, but I I'm not I'm not really that interested in what. Eleanor Freeburger is doing. I mean, yeah, I, 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 not for me. Uh, the new Daughter album, Not to Disappear, the uh, indie folk trio that pulled the wool over everyone's eyes and decided to release this, like, dream pop or some kind of post-rock kind of deal here. And it it put, it puts me to sleep every time I put it on. It, it just absolutely is just dreary and really sleep inducing. I, I it I just don't really if you see want I don't really want to venture into that if all it's gonna do is just put me to sleep. It's uh, no. It, it's not for me, obviously. I mean, if you're a fan of daughter already then check it out, pursue it at your own risk, but th there's not really much of anything that they're doing that intrigues me. Uh, on the album, not to disappear. Now, finally, the new Chairlift album, Moth. Uh, I really wanted to review this. Definitely might consider reviewing this either this Saturday or um, this week or this Sunday. But um, I just can't think of it much much to say about it that I can't say in just a brief little minute. It's it's Chairlift doing some intriguing stuff with a uh, dream pop and uh, dream pop and indie pop and all that. It's it's a good album certainly. I mean, there's there's certainly a lot of eccentricity in the vocals and there's some intriguing production that's going on. It's it's definitely good. It's just there's a few tracks that are that aren't that great or just too sugary for their own good. And sometimes the vocals just don't work that well on some of these tracks, especially when it's trying to get really eccentric and trying to reach into the higher range. Um, still, Cheerlift, I think, are going coming to Shaky Knees this May, and I'm definitely going to be going to that festival, and I'll try to keep an eye on that set. But, uh, yeah, Cheerlift, for, again, definitely a decent album. It's just... I don't I don't know what I what I could contribute to putting in a seven or eight minute video about it that it won't be inadvertently describing it's just more than one track when I'm describing just maybe the opener or the closer so yeah these are my albums that I'm not gonna be reviewing most likely so yeah that's it but if you've given these albums a listen what did you think of them did you like them hate them why and what should I consider reviewing or reconsider not reviewing CWD Reviews here signing off